Now that we've taken a look at how to correct perspective in our photographs, we're going to take a look now at how to straighten photographs that may come into Photoshop a little bit crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this document up and I'm going to say don't save for now. And then I'm going to go into the Adobe Bridge by clicking this little bridge icon right up here in the options bar. It's going to launch Adobe Bridge for me. And I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to open up slantedfield.jpg. That's just going to open that up inside Photoshop CS3 for me. And I'm also going to jump into full screen mode simply by hitting the F key on my keyboard a couple of times. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct the horizon line of this photograph here. Now you could go ahead and you could bring up free transform and arbitrarily rotate this object around, but there's really an easier way to do it other than that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer just so we have a before and after to look at when we're finished. Then I'm going to come up here to the filter menu. I'm going to go back to distort and I'm also going to go back to lens correction again. Now this time I'm going to turn the grid off because I really don't want that grid to be in my way. So now I'm going to come up here to the little tools over here on the left hand side of the lens correction dialog box and I'm going to select the straighten tool which is just the second tool down over here in the tools. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag across this image right across the horizon line and that's just telling the lens correction dialog box that this is the line that should be straight in the photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and you see there it automatically rotates that photograph so that that horizon line is perfectly straight across that image. Now what we can do to finish this off is we can come back down here to the scaling percentage and we can just scale this object up right back to where all of it extends off the page simply by dragging this slider to the right like so. And when we're finished with that, we'll go ahead and click OK. And there we have our perfectly corrected horizon line in just a few short and easy steps here. So I'm going to show you here's before and here's after. So you can see how this can be a very powerful tool for making images that look just kind of so-so to being a very decent photograph like the one you see here. Now that's not the only feature inside of Photoshop that's going to help you to straighten your images. So I'm going to go ahead and show you another one right now. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to close this image up. I'm going to say don't save and I'm going to come in here back to the Adobe Bridge and I'm going to open up vacation.tiff and when I do that you'll notice that these are three individual photographs that were scanned into the computer and they're all mounted on one single layer as you see here. Now what I want to do here is I want to separate these photographs and I want to straighten them as well because I know a lot of times when you're scanning photographs in you find that you're gonna have a little bit of a twist when you close the scan lid or you're gonna not actually line them up completely straight when you put them on the scanner bed or something like that so Photoshop has a great tool to help you crop and straighten these photographs completely out into individual files. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to come up here to the file menu. This time we're going to choose automate and we're going to select crop and straighten photos. Now when I do that Photoshop's going to go through here. It's going to pick all of those photos out individually and then if I jump out of the full screen mode I'm doing that simply by tapping the F key on my keyboard. You'll see here I now have three individual files for all of those photographs right there. So I've effectively cropped all of those images out, I've straightened them up, and now they're all in individual files. However, there's one limitation to this and something that I really wish they'd put in here, but I really don't know how they'd make it work, and that's the ability to rotate these images as well. As you can see here, this image here did not rotate around as it should have. Now there would be a little bit of difficulty for Photoshop to recognize exactly what orientation this photograph is supposed to be in, and that's understandable. So for now, we're just going to have to rotate this ourselves. So in order to do that, simply click the image menu, come down to rotate canvas, and select 90 degrees, either counterclockwise or clockwise. In this instance, we're going to be moving counterclockwise because we want the sails of the boat to be facing upward. So we're going to come down to 90 degrees CCW, that stands for counterclockwise. And I'll go ahead and rotate that, and now you see we've perfectly rotated that image. So this is just a quick and easy way that Photoshop has built in here for you to crop and straighten all of your photographs and also correct the horizon line so that your photographs are no longer crooked in any way.